our pre-configured seed boxes come with support for both Windows 10 and Linux virtual machines. This gives you the flexibility of installing anything you need and at the same time, peace of mind knowing that if you make a mistake, you can just start over without any loss of data. Let's visit the virtual machine area in the dashboard, which you can find in the left menu. There's a sub-menu for Linux and one for Windows. In this video, we'll review the Windows virtual machine. First, you need to create a virtual machine instance. Click on the Create Windows VM button and specify the resources that you want to assign to it. In this tutorial, we will create a small one, but let's edit the default a bit. 20 gigabit of storage, 2 CPU cores and 2 gigabit of RAM will do fine. We can also specify credentials or use the one suggested by the system. Let's do the latter. The VM is created quickly. The first thing we need to do next is authorise our IP address to connect to it. This is an additional security measure on top of the credentials. After that, we will start the virtual machine, which will then be ready for us. To connect, you will need a RDP, or Remote Desktop Protocol Client. The particular client you use depends on your specific operating system. Most OSs have one often pre-installed. In this tutorial, we will just use the one that comes with Windows. Open the program Remote Desktop Connection and on the computer field, copy the text for Host Name from the dashboard. Then click on Edit Credentials and enter the user and password. This is actually very important because if you don't enter them here, the connection will just fail without telling you why. Click Connect and you will see the Windows 10 installer. Yes, you get to install it yourself with any options that you want. In our example, we just choose the default options. We don't have a product key, so we select I don't have a product key and continue. If you do have a product key, you can enter it instead, of course. We already know the EULA really well, so we'll click Next. Next, Next, Finish, and let the install complete. The install process reboots the VM a couple of times, just like on a physical computer. Don't worry about the mouse or the screen behaving strangely. We will fix that at the end. At some point, the installer will ask if we want the fast configuration, which means that it's OK to share a lot of things with Microsoft for our convenience. Let's spend 15 seconds saying no to everything, skipping the creation of a Microsoft account and completing the install. After we get to the usual fresh Windows desktop, the first thing we want to do is install the drivers to make it run smoothly on the virtual machine. They can be found on a virtual CD available on Drive E. Click on the VBox Windows Editions item and proceed with the installer. Allow Windows to reboot a final time. The last thing we want to show you is that after doing this driver install, the data from the seed box is available to Windows on Drive F. That's right, we can access all our files. For example, here's Big Buck Bunny, which we'll open in Movies and TV by double-clicking on it. That's all. We hope you enjoyed this video and see you in our next tutorial.